Uh, today we're going to wire up a low voltage controller for DC pumps. So this controller here is a 48 volt controller, but this is going to be the same method that you use for 24, 48 and 72 volts. So let's open it up. So first thing you're seeing here is you've got your DC input power coming from your solar panels. You've got your battery terminals, which the 72 volt controller doesn't have these two terminals here. Then you've got your pump power cable terminals, which is UVW, your low water level sensor terminals, which are the ones here with WC and WH, and then your either tank full or pressure switch terminals, which is TC and TH. Yeah, so we're gonna begin with wiring in the pumps power cable. So as you can see, the wires here are labeled as UVW. Now it's important to note which wires have the letters so that you can match them up to the correct terminals inside the control box. So we get them in. Through this ground. Assuming it wants to let you. So the brand wire is labelled as U, so when you take our Phillips head screwdriver, you can also use a large flat head screwdriver for this, loosen off the terminal, place the wire underneath and then tighten it back up. Now this doesn't need to be overly tight, we just want a nice firm tightness so the wire isn't going to be loose. Next we do the V terminal, which is labelled for the blue wire. It's important that when you're doing this, you try to keep all the different filaments on the copper wire well packed together. You don't want any loose ones poking in above the plate of the terminal. Okay, now that we've got that wired in, we can move on to the sensors. So if you're using a low water level sensor, a pressure switch or tank sensor in conjunction with the low water level sensor, take both sensor cables, twist them together like this and insert them through the hole there. And try to push them through together rather than pulling them through too much. So we don't want to drag the insulation down too much. Okay, now that we've got them both through, we take the low water level sensor and we wire it in. As I said before, you do not need to worry about which colours go where because we're just creating a simple circuit. There you go. So you've got your DC input, your pumps power cables, your tank full or pressure switch sensor cables, and then your low water level sensor cables just there. Okay. And then you're ready to go.